Welcome back to Casual Throw. I'm excited to open this review video with a quick unboxing. This package arrived in my mailbox today. It has a little bit of a strange language here on the label next to the English, so I'm assuming this might be from Canada. Oh, Canada. The place where they call ham bacon. The place where it seems like everybody is a hockey maniac. The place of poutine, which I've seen on the menu at places like McDonald's. I think I might have tried it once. I don't really remember. The country that gave us the great sport of curling, I do legitimately like curling, gave us Jim Carrey, John Candy, but then Justin Bieber kind of ruined it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I already cut it open to save a little bit of time. Uh, it is what I think it is. And it is the Zero Gravity Return Tops uh, Basilisk. That's the name I was looking for, the Basilisk, which is, as always, arrives in their distinctive wooden packaging here. The stand open there. It comes with a Bad Wolf Co. string on it. Uh, look at that yo-yo. Colors on this. Like that V shape, a little bit of concave to it. This is very striking. I love it. And as always, slick engravings. Very excited to play with this and prepare to review it. So it had the Bath Wolf Co. string. Uh, came with a couple of Zero Gravity Return Tops stickers and Bad Wolf Co. business cards. So good stuff all around. Appreciate Jedwardo sending me the throw to check out, and I'm very excited to record my review of it once I've gotten more familiar with it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Not even their fellow Canadians like Nickelback. All right, before I begin my review here, it's been brought to my attention that maybe I need to be a little bit more culturally sensitive and not help to perpetuate and bandy about stereotypes about the wonderful Canadian people. So my apologies to my good Canadian friends. I'll try to watch that going forward. So let's get to this review, eh? Just one quick disclaimer here before I do get into the review, and that is that I did get this throw free of charge from Zero Gravity specifically for the review. So just figured that I'd throw that out there, even though it's not going to, you know, cloud my judgment as far as the review goes. I'm going to still offer my honest feedback. Without further ado, this is the third distinct release here from Zero Gravity. Gravity Return Tops, uh, following on the winglet, which was released in a 6061 and a 7068 version, and then the second distinct model, which was the Ibex, which I uh, thought quite a bit of there as a 2020 yo-yo release. I uh, really liked both of the throws, just had a particular affinity for the Ibex. This one is uh, sort of rivaling that for me. I really, really do like the Basilisk. This is a Canadian product, so I want to emphasize that this is a return top and not a yo-yo, ham, bacon, bacon, ham, whatever, Canada, America, let's do this. You can see here that this is a V-shaped aluminum yo-yo. It does have that slight concave or U-shape to it. Uh, it is made out of 6061 aluminum, and I had to confirm that with uh, the folks at Zero Gravity. It felt a little bit more premium than 6061, and part of me was like, is this 7068? No, it is reinforced 6061 aluminum. The goal of the yo-yo design is to capture the traits of the Basilisk Lizard, that is uh, quickness, agility, and then stability. This yo-yo does combine all three of those traits pretty well. Four colorways uh, will be available. This is one of them. It's chameleon something. I'm not even going to try to, you know, pronounce it because I'll butcher it. And then there's a bluish one, a black one, and then there's like this orange gray combination. And uh, when they reached out to me to see which one I wanted, it really was a tough decision because they all look slick in their own right. So all four colorways are going to be available about the middle of February from Yo-Yo Sam and Yo-Yo Expert, and the retail is gonna be, I think, pretty reasonable price at 56 dollars. 
So the yo-yo that I'm gonna have side by side here with the Basilis for the shape and size comparisons will be the One Drop Monkey Finger Fire Devil Ridgeback. Very different yo-yos in a lot of ways, but I thought it might be useful to put them side by side for the sake of comparison so you can see. So the diameter on the Basilis is 55.8 millimeters. The width is 45 and a half millimeters. The gap is 4.6 millimeters. The weight is 65.1 grams. The bearing you can see here is a large C center track. Uh, previous zero gravity releases had sort of a V-shaped uh, bearing with a groove in the center. They just went to a more standard center track for this release. The response is also fairly standard at 19 millimeter slim silicone pads. So I've had the Basilisk for about two weeks now, and I've played it quite a bit, and I've really, really enjoyed it. It certainly possesses that nice blend that a lot of yo-yos tend to have today, where it is a really fun yo-yo to sling around, but it also has high-performance qualities. Uh, the machining of this yo-yo is really, really good. It's pretty much immaculate. It uh, unscrewed very smoothly, went back together very nicely. The feel in both play and in the hand is tremendous. The rims are fairly beefy here to try to give it, I think, perhaps a little bit of a bimetal uh, feel in terms of the play and the performance, but I haven't had any discomfort in catching it or anything like that, despite the beef that is out on the rims. It is a pretty zippy yo-yo. It has a pretty good amount of power and the stability is solid. I've certainly tried to push it with, you know, what I do have in terms of play speed and it holds up pretty well. It has a really, really nice finish. It's actually one of my favorite yo-yos as far as the finish goes for grinds. The, the combination of the finish and the shape is tremendous for finger grinds. And while the, uh, the little bit of a lip and the space that's in there is uh, good enough for thumb grind. Certainly it isn't the best, most easy thumb grinding yo-yo that I have, but as is the case on all zero gravity releases, there is a dimple for finger spins, even if that isn't necessarily my jam. It's worth, I think, pointing out to you. Um, I le legitimately have exactly one teeny tiny gripe about this yo-yo. It does come stock with uh, Bad Wolf Co. Poly Nylon Blend, custom for each colorway, which is sort of cool. It's the same thickness as uh, standard Bad Wolf Co. releases, I'm sort of crazy, and I don't want to use up the, the custom string that comes with it, so I just used another, you know, one of my stock ones that I got from Michael. And it was a little bit slippy, especially at first. It's gotten a little bit better uh, as the pads have broken in, but still sometimes a little bit of slip, and I, in fact, prefer to play with Bad Wolf Co. Slicks, which are 100% nylon. Pretty much the same play as far as just a little bit slippy, but not too bad. I did play it a little bit with Eretics, which are a touch thicker, and the response was almost perfect with those. And that probably just has to do with the uh, gap width on this particular yo-yo in combination with the white pads there, perhaps. Overall, I really, really like this yo-yo. I think that Zero Gravity, you know, right out of the gate, we're three yo-yos in from them. And each of them has been uh, different from one another, but still very good in their own right. As I mentioned, this sort of rivals the Ibex for me in terms of which release of theirs that I like uh, the most. So that does it for this review. Thanks again for dropping by. And again, a final apology to my Canadian friends for my cultural insensitivity. Uh, I would really like to come back and be welcomed to Canada at some point. You know, we've always wanted to see... What have we wanted to see? Wait, honey, why would we ever want to go to Canada? <laughs>